program. You know, you know, Paul, there's the, the judge, there's the mother, and then yeah, the daughter. That's right. Now, did you know this? There's a third judge. I know the third judge that's right. personally. She's not as talented, not as good looking. Uh, well, I... No, that's what, no, no, there's a big article about this in yeah. one of the magazines. And they keep her tied in the crawl space of their house. Well, let me say that I have met the third judge. Oh, have you really? Ashley Judd. Right. She's gorgeous. Lovely. Gorgeous. She's in school, last right. I heard. Talented. But and why she don't has they... certain talents, I understand. Yeah, but they don't want her as part of the judge. Well, I don't know whether her talents are musical or not, but she's a very, very lovely young gal. Yeah, okay. Well, I hope they get that ironed out. I just... They keep her tied to what? Keep her tied in the crawl space of the house. Really? what I heard. Wow. That sounds kind of creepy. And occasionally, like once a week, to go out and roll a ham under the house and... Uh, <laughs> sounds very kinky to me. No, they're lovely. It's a lovely family and a talented family, and God bless them. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and they won big awards last night on the big Country Western We Travel by Bus Award Show. They sure, <laughs> they sure do. Yeah, they do. They're out there working hard, though. That's the backbone. That's the core of uh, American entertainment. That is right. Night in, night out, on that a bus correct. traveling, going from bus. one little honky-tonk. By the way, that's the first time in my adult life on television I've ever said honky tonk. I know. I was kind of surprised to hear that. Yeah, me too. I was surprised that it sort of fell out of my mouth there. Uh, coming up on the program tonight, the Black Crows. These yeah. guys are good. Yeah, Man, are these good. guys are good. Talk about traveling and, um, by bus. And also T. Corregison Boyle, the author of a book, uh, East is East. Mm -hmm. Very entertaining. Yeah. Tomorrow on the uh, program, Gary Shandling will be here, Dick Clark will be here, and Michael Moshin, who will, uh, Motion, I'm sorry, Michael Motion, who is a genius juggler, it says. You know, you know, uh, Friday night we had the genius three-year-old. Yeah. And, and tomorrow it's the genius, genius juggler. juggler. Yeah. That tells me that Morty is down to the G's in his Rolodex. <laughs> Uh, it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for one of my favorite comedy segments, those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. Paul, music for this? Yeah, those oh. funny, 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 funny Maplethorpe photos, yeah. Okay, very nice, Paul. Here we go. Funny Maplethorpe photo number one. Hey, wait a minute, that's McNeil and Lair. Here we go. Funny Maplethorpe photo number two. Oh, please, let this be an eggplant. Funny Maplethorpe photo number three. I'm sorry, Mr. Gear. No shirt, no shoes, no Slurpee. Okay. Dave, Dave, yes, what Dave, is, Dave, Oh, look, me. it's one excuse of our me. stage managers, Biff Henderson. Hi, Biff. Hi, Biff. Hi, Biff. I'm, right, I'm right in the middle of funny, funny Maplethorpe I'm, photos. I'm sorry. Yeah, what's up? What's the combination of your locker again? Oh, my locker? Yeah. All right, here, let me write this down. Okay. Okay, okay, now this, this right. one, you go around twice and stop on that, and then okay. go to the left there, and then back to the right on that one. It should open right up. Okay, I won't give it in. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, boy. The young man's been acting terribly strange lately. What the hell is... I hope it's not some kind of an emergency. Oh! Oh, shit. Thank goodness. I nearly suffocated in there. Tony, what are you doing in Dave's locker? I was waiting for Dave. Listen, I know this is a little unorthodox, but maybe you could help me get on the show, Biff? I've done you enough favors. Uh, nice job, Biff. Nice. Nice going. I don't try. I don't try. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, oh, he's going back in the locker. All right. <laughs> Leave him in there, then. <laughs> All right, do we have any, any more time here for the uh, funny... No, I guess we don't. All right, we'll, we'll do a commercial. We'll be right back. Schaefer and the uh, Late Night Orchestra. Nice going, boys. Yeah. You guys have been together since the 30s, is that correct? We have, actually. They've been together yeah. longer than any network, band, or orchestra anywhere in the world. I think you can say that, yes. Yeah, congratulations. Some personnel changes. 
Uh, coming up in this half hour, of course, we have uh, Randy Travis and Tammy Wynette will be here. It's actually Tammy Wynette. Yeah. Tammy Wynette is the woman's name. And uh, Art Donovan will uh, be on the program. Art, always entertaining. He's always a gas to have around. Tomorrow on the program, uh, Dave Stewart. Dave Stewart. Dave yes. Stewart, huh? Yeah. And the, he got a uh, brand new album, a brand new group. It's called, uh, what are the... The, the uh, Brown somebody, Dirt Cowboys. No, somebody Cowboys. The, uh, the Moody Cowboys. Yeah. The, the Frightened Cowboys. The what? The Dirty Cowboys. The what is it? The Friendly Cowboys. It's the... Spiritual Cowboys. Okay. Names of bands for 12, Alex. Uh, also, uh, author Letitia Baldridge tomorrow on the program. She's uh, just a total uh, nutcase. And the manager of the world champion Cincinnati Reds, Lou Pinella. That's right. tomorrow on the program. Are they booing him or no, what? No, no, no. They're chanting Lou. Oh. Lou. Earlier, they were booing me. Yes. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for one of our favorite little things to do on the program. Yes, it's time for those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. Paul, do you have music for those? Those, those funny, funny, cuckoo, funny Maplethorpe photos, yeah. Here's funny, funny Maplethorpe photo number one. There it is. This photo, ladies and gentlemen, has actually been selected for this year's Kennedy Christmas card. Yeah. Funny, funny Maplethorpe photo number two. I'm taking my dry cleaners to the people's court. Mm -hmm. Funny, funny Maplethorpe photo number three. One's AM, one's FM. It's those funny, funny Don King wigs. Get your Don King wigs here. Hey, we got Don King wigs. Ah, uh, wow, that slim fast diet is really working for John Madden there. Funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. Here we go. Is, is there another shoe store in the area? <laughs> I believe I take my business elsewhere. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we see Grace Jones demonstrating how she's able to receive free HBO. I don't, I don't like that joke. I don't like that joke. I don't like this particular ah, joke. That Excuse particular. Me, I'll be right back. I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to make sure nothing happens. Hello. Hello. It was a lovely evening, wasn't it? Oh. I'm out there in the hall, a guy comes up to me and says, Is Tammy Wynette on the program? See that? Uh, we have to do a commercial. We'll be right back, kids. Let's, oh, man, this is a pretty good program. Well, on the show tonight, we have a very uh, witty young man, David Steinberg, is on the program. Also, uh, <laughs> the amount of soup spilled is not important. Uh, also on the uh, show tonight, we have uh, international film star Gerard Depardieu. How many, how many of you right now are having this thought through your minds? Uh, we may be in the wrong studio. <laughs> and rounding out the big program tonight, Shirley Vanderslice. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Here, say hello to our friend uh, Paul Schaefer. He's right there. Thank you very much. Dennis, I 
I want to... Thank you for that smattering of applause. I want to ask a question that all of America is probably asking right now. Yeah, yeah. Who is Shirley Vanderslice? Sure. Let me explain this to you. Shirley Vanderslice is a lovely woman who teaches floral design. She does. And she's a guest on our show tonight. That's right. And will she teach you some floral design? Yes. Will there then be a point where she... You're unusually peppy tonight. Well, I, <laughs> Unusually I be... interested, unusually attentive. Well, I gotta do some... I, I gotta pay attention to the show once in a while. Yeah, well, <laughs> tonight is an excellent night because we have uh, 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 David Steinberg. He is very, uh, very funny. I don't want to run through this again. It's gonna be a great show. French, international French actor. Yeah, uh, Gerard de uh -huh. <laughs> And uh, what else did I want to mention? We got the big marathon is coming up uh, this weekend here in New York City, Sunday. This Sunday the uh, big marathon that's 26 miles. Many members of our staff entered and competing in the event. Several members. Let's count them off. Sid McGinnis oh, in the marathon. Coming, How so many I'm years have you been in the marathon? Fourth one. This will be your fourth one. Fourth in a row, yeah. And you, you run like a demon, don't you? I do. In fact, it says that on your shirt. I run <laughs> like a demon. Like a demon. Uh, and what's your best time? Uh, 314. 314. Last year. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, it's going to be a little warm this year, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. One of our writers, Rob Burnett, running, running in his year? first marathon, mm -hmm. I believe. Right. I believe it's his first marathon. Also, the lovely Mary Connolly Mary running. Mary is her... running. Anybody else running in the marathon? Bailey? Oh, oh. Huh? <laughs> Are you? All right. Well, that's good. Be nice to see you out there. You know, I, do, I, don't want to, I don't want to embarrass people, but I witnessed one of the most amazing things in my life last year. You know, you get to be a certain age in life and you think, I'm never going to see anything else really amazing. Yeah. I witnessed in my very own office something truly amazing. What happened? Well, I'm sitting up there and I'm in one of my chairs and I'm in the middle of the office and over in the corner about 20 feet away is a waste basket, a big plastic two and a half foot high waste mm -hmm. basket. Fair enough, yeah. And, and in comes Mary Connolly, and we were chatting about the, the big program, which is all we can ever talk about around here. We're very, very busy here. <laughs> Trying to get a hold of Miss Vanderslice. <laughs> so. <laughs> Shirley what? Vanderslice. Do we have her? So, yeah, she's here. Okay, we so, got her. So Mary comes in, and uh, now here, here, I'm sitting like here. Oh, I'll get up and do a little visual demonstration. Okay. This here will be go. deadly dull. <laughs> I'm like here. Yeah. Mary is seated right here. Okay. Now, keep in mind that we're 20 feet away from this plastic waste, waste basket. basket. Now, we have a container of NFL footballs. All right. Right over here. Regulation footballs? Right there in my office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Some regulation. people have candy, nuts, gum, that kind of thing. No, I have a big container. of. Come by, help yourself to a regulation NFL football. How many? How many in there? So we start 10, throwing 20. these things. We're yeah. just kind of tossing them. I toss. It took me like 17 times before I could hit one into the, into the waste basket mm -hmm. from 20 feet away. Mary Connolly hit the first one and then continued to hit some others in succession. Now, what would be a very impressive number of consecutive buckets she hit with the football, 20 feet away? Will says two. Sure, yes, two. Yes, I would have been stunned two by three. two. You say two. If what you do you say? Two or three in a row. Three. Anybody else? Fifteen. Fifteen. No, sir. See, now you've ruined the story. <laughs> well, how many did she get? This woman sat there without blinking an eye, canned eight oh, in a row. eight in a row. I was stunned. And then, and then to prove my point, we got, a, we got another little guy, some weenie running around up there. And I said, come on in, son. Let's see how you can do against yeah. Ms. Connolly. And he, you know, he couldn't do anything. Well, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you bothered by this, uh, this thing in the Persian Gulf? Oh, of course You I know am. what makes me crazy about it? I, I know for, for one of the few times, they're not now going to artificially raise the price of oil. They have no choice. There's going to be an oil shortage, and yeah. the price of oil is going to go up. Yeah. And, and so, you know, people are going to work uh, around the clock. They're going to work very hard trying to find ways to bring down the price of oil. And, yeah. and I just, uh, it makes me crazy. I'm already paying nearly uh, two, two, oh, look, see, there's the Exxon building. They're working, yeah. right, this proves my point. <laughs> Across the street in the Exxon building, they're working right now trying to find a way to control the runaway price of oil. Here, control let me take a look at these uh, binoculars. Let me... <laughs> There's the Exxon building. Yeah, yeah, there they are. They're working late, all right. There they go. Can I put the binoculars? Thank you. Eight in a row. Yeah. Like, sit, like sitting next to Y.A. Tittle. 
Boom. What does she look like, Boom. this Mary Connelly? Lovely woman. She's Lovely. great. E easy on the eyes. <laughs> and talented. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. Paul, do you have... I do. Those funny, 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 yeah. Maplethorpe photos, yeah. Here's our first funny, funny Maplethorpe photo. <clears throat> Who are you, and what have you done with the canary? <laughs> that's, that's our first, our first funny, funny, yeah, that's Mabel Thorpe photo. One. Yeah, that was the first one. Wow, Phyllis Diller looks terrific. That's funny. Oddly enough, these are the only two guys mentioned in Tom Carvel's will. <laughs> <laughs> People have some, uh, some gasps, some uh, pulmonary difficulties. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, these folks just found out the McMillions contest is over. Those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. One night, let's set up a can in here and see how many she can hit. All right. And we can wager. It'll be fun. Sure. Uh, let's see. Tell the landlord I'm getting too much heat from these pipes. Oh, funny. this is nice. Look, look, Paul, look, look. Look, it's Doug Henning. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was funny, funny. funny I know what she's thinking. I can't believe they canceled Ferris Bueller. <laughs> you know, we did this in rehearsal today in programming. The programming department called down and said, Oh, Ferris yeah. Bueller hasn't been canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging on by a thread, uh. you know. <laughs> Like it makes a difference. Uh, yeah, really. Uh, Marion Barry here seems to be adjusting well to prison life. <laughs> funny. funny, funny. Yeah, give me that. Give me that Ferris Bueller joke. Do you have that there? I'm not crazy about that joke. Yeah, they said, oh, you know, Ferris Bueller hasn't been canceled. <laughs> oh. oh, well, that's doing pretty well then, huh? Well, no, we didn't didn't say that. I'll be right back, uh, folks. Hi. Hi. Hey, did you try the buffet? <laughs> oh, hi, Enzo. How are you doing? Hi, fine. Yeah, do you prefer, would you hold that card? Of course. All right, thank you very much. You know, one day I hope to own a couple of your cars. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, Enzo. Oh, hold that up. No, 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 no. Away, away from your body. No, way away. Get it? Yeah, that's good. Hold it right there. Hang on a second. Ready? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what are you eating? What are you, what are you eating? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I don't have it. Hey, hey, I tell you what, let's do a commercial, then we'll come back with the big show. We have David Steinberg tonight, we have a Gerard Depardieu. Uh, As you all know, a horn yeah. section yeah. lives or dies I'm by in. its credentials. I've seen some of these guys before. You've seen them. They are known by many names. They've played with everybody, right. from Ben E. King to, yeah. to Bon Jovi right. and everybody in between. But mm -hmm. I am most proud of this credit. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello. Bruce Kapler, Alchez, the LaToya Jackson Horns. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, they're with us tonight. The LaToya Jackson Horns, ladies and gentlemen. The LaToya Jackson Horns. Thank you. I have, I have two things to relate to you. By the way, yeah, I'm always whining about how uncomfortably warm it is in the studio. Tonight, it's ideal. Oh, good. It's perfect. I'll tell you something. I can't tell the difference between tonight. It's exactly the same as any other night. <laughs> well, maybe I oh, need a checkup then. It's always the same. I'm glad you're happy tonight. <laughs> two two things. Uh, I'm driving into uh, New York City today, and I get stuck in the traffic in New York City. And if you ever spend any time driving around Manhattan, you get to see this a lot. The guy in the car in front of you, you see the door open, the guy leans out. 
You see, I've seen you that. You see that a lot. You just see, it's usually a little short, tubby guy. He just kind of swings up and kaboom, yeah, he lets in. I've seen that. The other thing, I'm upstairs earlier this afternoon talking with uh, my manager, Jack Rollins, oh, yes. for the last 30 years. Jack mm -hmm. Rollins, he's a, a show business legend. He, he handles me and a guy who has a learn to play bridge video. <laughs> Where is only two clients? That's his client. it's, a, it's a blue chip stable. I see. Well, so so we're chatting, and I forget exactly what we're chatting about. And there's a little silence, and uh, Jack says to me after the silence, he says, uh, uh, "David, uh, so uh, David, uh, <clears throat> did you uh, did you close your pool?" <laughs> and I started to laugh just like that. And he says, "What? What? You don't have a pool?" And I said, "No, I, I don't have a pool." And then he starts to laugh, and he says, uh, well, you're not really in show business, are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, David, David, uh, <clears throat> did you, um, did you close your pool? That's your manager. No. Imitating your own manager. Well, yeah, your, Jack Rollins. Is, is Mr. Rollins in the building? Where is he? he Hunt is him down. Legend. Find him. Can you, well, maybe he later. He is a show business yeah, legend. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I told you it was on the show tonight. Oh, you know what it is? Oh, this is very exciting. We, we love doing this. We started doing it about uh, six weeks ago. Paul, yeah. time for those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. Here we go. For those funny, funny, cuckoo funny Maplethorpe photos. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Drive safely. Here we go. Funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number number one. Here we go. I'm sorry. No, sir. No shirt, no shoes, no Slurpee. <laughs> funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo. The crowd's enjoying it. Uh, number two. It's the worst episode of the dating game ever. Funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo. Uh, when I get a headache, it's a real bangaroo. <laughs> Bob Urich telling us about those bangaroo That's headaches. Right. You ever hear? Yeah. yeah. He does those commercials. Funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number four. Look, everyone, I'm Batman. I... <laughs> I'm, I really am. I'm Batman. Look, see? I'm... <laughs> funny, funny. <laughs> Here's our old friend Iggy Pop. Yeah. You mean, I'm drinking instant coffee? Funny. funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number six. Oh, stewardess, what time will we be landing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, David, uh, <clears throat> did you close your pool? I get right on it, Jack. Thank you very much. That's the kind of advice, you know, you, do, you don't come by easily in this business. Well, you pay for that kind sure of advice. Sure you do. Uh, number seven, uh, this, uh, this side is tingling. That means it's working. <laughs> funny, funny Maplethorpe photo number... Wait a minute, what the hell is that? Oh, my God, look at that. Wait a minute. Hey, Morty, was that was was that camera vaccinated or not? Oh my foot! Oh! oh. So, so you shot yourself shot yourself in the foot, did you? Well, huh? It's time to go, isn't it? Yeah, I've gone deep is what's happened. Uh, on the program, uh, we'll do a commercial. We'll come back, and uh, Mary Tyler Moore is here. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hey.
trying to study in here, all right? Man, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, very, very nice. Else, this yeah, guy. sounds terrific. Okay, let's see. Uh, what are we doing now? Tomorrow on the big program. By the way, Paul, you go into this guy's restaurant, that Le Cirque over there. This uh, dish right here, that's a $400 item. Absolutely. Uh, seriously, that would be about 400 bucks. About 400. You, you, you have coffee and, and uh, maybe like a mint, and you're looking, <laughs> you're looking at a $700 bill. I know. Yeah. I've been there. But man, is this stuff tasty. Unbelievably yeah. great. Uh, tomorrow, oh, tomorrow on the program, Deborah Winger. Oh, she's very really? good. Very talented. Mm -hmm. Deborah oh, Winger. Yeah. Lovely, lovely woman. A very nice woman. You know very, Deborah Winger? Very nice. I've never Deborah had the pleasure. No, no, I met her several times. You very met nice. her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We used to live in the same neighborhood. You did? In fact, she, Charlie, and uh, the um, Emilio Estevez family and uh, the Machine family and all of those folks, we all used to live in the same area. You lived with the Brat Pack. No, I didn't live with the... Yeah, that's right. I did. We all lived in a big Quonset hut. Uh -huh. <sighs> I, had to, I had to get up early every morning and fix breakfast. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow on the program, Deborah Winger. I mentioned that also. Richard Benjamin is here and Dwight Yoakam. Oh, boy. It's it doesn't be get any show. better than Dwight Yoakam when you're talking about country western music. He'll be uh, tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dale Earnhardt, uh, 1990 uh, Winston Cup champion, and uh, Gilbert Gottfried is on the uh, program tonight. Hey, you know what it's time for now? It's time for those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. Here we go. Those funny. Funny, cuckoo funny, Maplethorpe photos, yeah! Okay. Uh, funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number one. Okay. Who broke the glass in the kitchen? <laughs> funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number two. They just heard that Cop Rock was canceled. Uh, he, uh... I like the $400 scallops, please. <laughs> funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number three, as seen on TV, the $400 scallops. Stay behind the white line, ma'am, so we can take your driver's license photo. <laughs> well. <laughs> it's going quite well, isn't it, Jimmy? <laughs> Those funny, funny, Maplethorpe photos number four. I just found out how the local laundry irons my shirts. Icky, icky, icky! <laughs> Number five, dear Lord, please let McRibs be for more than just a limited time only. Right there, I dropped one of the maple water photos. I can't. I, I, I'll get it later. Those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. Number six, uh, Your Honor, the defense can't approach the bench. Hal, is there something wrong with this shot? Is it? Are we losing a little something here? I don't think so. Right. Those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos number seven. Whoops, I dropped a lens. <laughs> oh, yeah. And finally, funny, funny Maplethorpe photo number eight. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. There you go. <laughs> Hal, is there something wrong with this? Because I don't think it should be sloping like that a little bit. I don't know. I'll look at it. All right. Oh, no, wait a minute. I think I see what the problem is. Turn on the lights out there in the audience. Excuse me. I'm sorry. This could be the thing that's doing it. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Could you, could you, could I ask you guys to come back another night? Do you mind? In fact, I have, I have tickets here to go see the uh, Christmas show across the street at Radio City. Just come back another night. Thank you very much. And maybe spread out. All right. Thank you. Just go ahead. Okay. Just, there we go. Yeah, that seemed to be... <laughs> kids are all the time coming to me. The kids are all the time coming to me saying, Dave, really, what is comedy? What's funny? And I tell them, load the audience with fat guys. That's funny. <laughs> okay, we have to do a commercial. We'll be right back. Yes, we're coming back. You guys sound great again tonight. Night oh, after night after night, soul. you sound terrific. And <laughs> and also, it's nice to have uh, Dave Sanborn back. Always nice to hear that. 
Which is not to say that on your own you don't sound just great. Thank too. you. Thank you for clearing that. It's a, up. a Thank lovely you very thing much. to hear. It's very nice of you. Right. Well, we're psyched tonight because Kreskin. Kreskin is here to do some. Some. I don't know exactly what he's planned. We haven't prearranged anything. Oh, nothing. There are no Confederates. Never. Happened. I don't know what he's going to do, but I know it will just leave people panting. <laughs> and uh, then we have the 18-year-old Justice of the Peace, uh, who could marry the Epstein couple. Could marry them tonight. Yeah, they could leave here tonight, a married he couple. Is legally. After after witnessing a Kreskin miracle. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Monday on the program, uh, Polly Bergen will be joining us from 30-something. I just love her. She'll be here. Polly really? Draper is who it is. It's Polly Draper. Oh, Polly Draper. I'm telling a joke to myself. It says I Polly see. Draper. Uh, Jack Bruce and Ginger Baker. Oh, yes. From, uh, from uh, Cream. From the Cream, yeah. the legendary power trio, yeah. <laughs> They'll be here. This is an old show, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I believe it is. <laughs> And uh, Brett Hall from the uh, St. Louis Blues, leading goal scorer in the NHL. Scores like a, a, a goal a game, this guy's fa right. fantastic. But ladies and gentlemen, right now, before we bring out the amazing Kreskin, it's time once again for those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. Bob. Bob. Those funny, funny, <laughs> cuckoo funny Maplethorpe photos, yeah. I don't know what's the matter. I, lo I looked over your way and said, Bob? <laughs> I called you Bob. Why would you? Why I don't you, know. Do you think I was the late Bob Cummings? Here we go. You know, I'll bet that's it. <laughs> funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number one. You know, there's something odd about this Sears catalog. <laughs> funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number two. So far, this is all they've seen through the Hubble telescope. Kreskin is clouding our minds tonight. Yes, you can, yes. You can almost hear that psychic little hum. That, well, it's a hum of... Kreskin. It's a hum of psychic anticipation. Yeah, that's right. You walk by his dressing room, you hear that. Yeah. <laughs> and they're he... shaving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number three. No, no, don't tell me the end of Rocky V. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Neither has anyone else. Uh, okay. The, oh, yeah, I know. Uh, those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos number five. Oh, no, somebody stole the goldfish. Uh, number five or six, depending on how it's numbered back here. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. There you go. And this is either six, seven, or eight, depending on how it's numbered back here. Damn squirrels are in the bird feeder again. Uh, let's see. Funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number seven. Boy, the Radio City Christmas show sure has changed. Oh, oh my gosh. I forgot to do something. Really? I just remembered I forgot to do something. I'm going to have to go take care of it right now. Really? Yeah. Well, this is awfully unusual. Right in the middle of those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos, Dave remembers something all of a sudden and has to leave the studio. It's why it's highly unorthodox. Yeah, that's right. But I'll be right back. How interesting yeah, that yeah. you're doing this. I hope Kreskin doesn't come while I'm no. gone. Oh. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Here we go. Oh, oh, excuse me. Just a second. Can you do me a favor? Open this door here. Oh, my gosh. This could be trouble. <sighs> kind of an oversight, kind of a mix-up. Hey, oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let me get the lights here. Hey, oh, Larry, are you all right? Come on out. You know, I completely forgot about you, and uh, these doors lock from the outside. Oh. I'm very, very sorry. But look, Dave, I refilled the ice cube tray. Yeah, I know, but the Christmas party was two weeks ago. Oh. Yeah, we don't need it anymore. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, but I think there's still plenty of ham left. Yeah, is there any ham left? Yeah, well, you know, if you're interested in ham, go check Wendell's uh, dressing room and look in his trunk there, okay? Okay. Who's on tonight? Oh, Kreskin. That man is amazing. Oh, he has abilities to suggest perhaps he's from space. Happy New Year. Thanks anyway, but I'm Presbyterian. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Take him downtown and hurt him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> is it time now? Is it, is it next? Yeah, okay. I think it, yeah, yeah. We'll do a commercial. It won't be too long. When we come back, Kreskin will be here.
Thank you very much, everyone. Hi, David. Paul, how are you? I'm feeling marvelously uh, perky today. Oh, Thank good you. for you. I have, to, I have to adjust my chair here. Get That's some kind higher. of a busted chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you that? know who I got a call? I didn't get a call from, but you know who I heard from the other day? Who? Uh, Richard Simmons. Now, <laughs> he, sent me, he sent me his new videos. He's got the uh, Sweat to the Oldies, parts one through seven. Yeah. And, and now he has something stretching to the classics. Stretching to the classics. That's right. Excuse Are you me. All right? I, I may have had a little too much soda earlier. I see. <laughs> or perhaps it was the dip. Can I, can I get you some mail answer? Anyway, anyway so, so now last week we were talking about Richard Simmons has this television program where he rides around. He helps people lose weight by playing a card game. You, yes, you were mentioning That's right. It's, you, you, you get a deck of cards, and simply by observing the rules of the card game, and, no, but it's true. If you're good at this, the weight will drop off. That, that, it's true. And, and, and then, then what Richard does, when he thinks you, it's like, a little like Santa. When Richard thinks you've lost enough weight, he puts on his little outfit, his, his little shorts and his tank tops, and he, and he gets, gets into his uh, rented 57 Thunderbird powder blue convertible, and he comes looking for you. And there's one scene where Richard is actually, you see him pull up in front of a house, and he's out on the lawn, hopping up and down on the lawn. And then somebody comes up. But I mean, seriously, if you got reports that there was a guy like Richard Simmons in your neighborhood, you'd keep the kids home from school, yeah. wouldn't you? <laughs> you know what uh, let's do? Uh, we were going to do something. Uh, oh, oh, we'd test the security. Man, I almost forgot. Test that security. Paul, security testing music. This will just take a second. We'll get the security tested. Everything will be fine. You people will then be able to enjoy the show in a more relaxed frame of mind. <laughs> okay, now let's see how this kid answers. This is our security out there in the uh, hallway. Oh, watch the door. Yeah. Hi, it's Billy. Hi, Billy. Now, Billy, that was the code we used yesterday. Absolutely. Now, now you understand in matters of security, we have to change the code each day. Uh, certainly. Okay, so here's what I'd like you to answer the phone with today. All scopes green, Captain. All scopes green, Captain. Captain, hey, pretty good. Nice job. Uh, how, how do things look out there? Clear. Pretty secure. Okay. Oh, hey, wait a minute. That guy, what's, what's he got to hide? R run a make on that guy. See what's up with him. Okay, uh, I'll check him out. Okay, listen, listen, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you right back because I want to I check the new uh, security. Okay. The, the new code, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on. All right, let's call him right back. And then, Paul, I actually have a mission for the kid. And if he doesn't answer with the proper code, he's fired. Right? Here, here we go. All scope's green, Captain. Nice job. Very good. Now, you, you know today is uh, Ronald Reagan's 80th birthday, don't you? That's what I hear. And uh, we were going to plan to do a little something uh, to kind of commemorate or celebrate that, but it didn't pan out. But uh, here's what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. If you can, you know who uh, your little friend Larry is, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Do me a favor. See if he can't find Larry. Okay. All right. Now, now when you find him, you and Larry come to the studio, but I want you to come into the doors. Don't, don't let us see Larry. And you let us know that he's here, and then we want a little entrance, and we'll play him in, and he'll take a bow, and the two of you can then leave, okay? Absolutely. All right, do you understand this? Yes. All right, tr try not to screw this up. <laughs> all, right, all right, thank you very much. All right, bye-bye. Okay, okay. So we'll just wait and see what happens here. All right, in the meantime, Paul, you know what it's time for? Oh, uh, what? That's right, it's a great night for America, because once again, it's time for one of our favorite episodes of those funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. Here we go. There we go. Oh, those funny, a funny, crazy kind of funny Maplethorpe photos, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is, did you find him? Yeah, I found him. All right, all right, go back at it. Let me get one or two in here, and then you come back in, okay? All right, okay. So, Paul, get ready when, he, when they come in. Okay. All right, funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. All right, keep that door closed. Keep it closed. Oh, don't scuff your pump. <laughs> There we go. Funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number one. Uh, actually, Mr. Manson, we do have a table for one. <laughs> two more and then send the kid in. Uh, all it took was two shakes and a sensible dinner. <laughs> funny, funny, Maplethorpe photos. Uh, I can name that tune in three notes. Oh, they seem to be getting funnier. Okay, now, send, send, send the, the, the kid in. All right, come on. Okay, is he out there? No, it's just him. It's just a kid. 
All right, is he ready? Yeah. All right, bring him in. This will be our friend Larry Bud. Here we go. As soon as he comes in. Ladies and gentlemen, Ronald Reagan. <laughs> All right, now don't don't let him. He should be out there at his post. Have, have the two of them out there. I don't want anybody going home. Make sure he's standing there. All right, back to our funny, funny Maplethorpe photos. What's the matter? Oh, I just saw this photo. Oh well, so then you you can't attest that it's actually a very funny, it's funny. A funny one. Okay, here we go. You can't really machine wash these Angora sweaters. <laughs> Doctor, my cat coughed these up. <laughs> funny, funny. Maplethorpe photos. Number five. You know, Paul, yeah. she's cable ready. <laughs> uh -oh. Funny, funny. Maplethorpe photo number five or six. I can't tell anymore. I had all my money in the Bank of New England. <laughs> uh, so you're Joe and Fran's boy. Yeah, geez, you... You really have gotten big. Funny, funny, maple thorp photos. <laughs> Today, Sesame Street is brought to you by the number four. Uh, let's see, uh, have you met my really fat, invisible friend, Richie? <laughs> get ready, Paul. Big, explosive, booming finish here. Okay, get ready. Get ready and stand by. Here we go. Funny, funny, Maplethorpe photo number 10 for those of you scoring along at home. Oh, please, dear Lord, keep George Bush in good health. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, uh, I tell you what we'll do. We have to do some commercials. Uh, we have a wonderful program. Tom Stoppard is here, Sally Love, and also Bronson Pinchot. Please, if you can, come right back after these. Yeah.